Hey, y'all. So I'm back today. I want to give a quick shout out to Remy Ma Papoos. We're having a baby. Ow. <laughs> so, yeah, um, they had their new vow renewals over the last um, um, over the last. It was either past week or past weekend. You know, I seen Remy and Pap. They was on point as always. Remy looked gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? Pap with the suit, all dapper and shit. And they were talking, and um, I think she handed Papoose the, um, or I think Papoose handed her the microphone. I seen the little clip on Instagram. Uh, one handed one the microphone, and Papoose rubbed her belly in before, you know, they could even say it. You know, we already knew what that was. They're having a baby. Remy Ma's baby bump. It's so cute. It's little, but it's there. You can definitely see it. I'm so glad and I'm so proud for them. You know what I'm saying? I understand that both people are, there are some people who are bringing up the fact that they have, you know what I'm saying, grown children already. Why I start over. But I definitely understand them wanting to have a child together because both of their children are from previous relationships. So I can definitely understand them wanting to have a child of their own. And I remember watching that scene on Love and Hip Hop. It tore me. It ate me up. It ate me up. You know what I'm saying? When she had the miscarriage. The whole situation with her fallopian tubes, you know what I'm saying? And then even last year, um, I understand the whole, you know, people get, you you know, when there's rivalries between celebrities, I understand we all get into hoopla and stuff. But to see her, people attacking her and, you know, talking about her not being able to have a child and this and the other, that was, that was too far. Definitely too far. But nonetheless, it's not a video for that. Um... Or this is not a, you know, video podcast, whatever, for that. But nonetheless, um, congratulations to her. You know, the best thing you could do with your haters is prove them wrong. And she just did. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm proud of her. It's been a long journey with them. The IVF treatments and stuff, that shit is expensive. It costs fucking money and it costs time. It's an investment in money and time. And they finally, you know, found that light at the end of the tunnel. And I can't wait, to, uh, wait for them to welcome this new child into the world. You know what I'm saying? Bank accounts is set up good, so the baby going to be good for life. <laughs> but, um, you know, it'll be nice to see them um, see them have a baby. You know what I'm saying? Somebody put a bug in Mona's ear. Let's get a special, you know, for when Remy uh, conceives, you know what I'm saying? Has the, oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? When they, y'all know what the hell I'm trying to say when it, whenever she gives the birth, you know what I'm saying? It would be nice to see the whole family, you know, interacting with the child. That would be nice. You know what I'm saying? They had the um, Christmas special, and that was that was nice to watch. So I, if they had a reality TV show like that, I would definitely watch that. But, you know, Remy, right now, she's got enough on her plate anyway. She's got this baby to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Um, at some point, she's going to have to sit down. But right now, we got seven and winners, seven winners and six summers coming up. Um, her role on, um, I'm pretty sure she's going to do Love and Hip Hop, so we got that coming up. Um, her role... On Queen of the South, woo, you know, speak it into existence and it will, sh- and it will happen, you know what I'm saying, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff, she got the store conceded, you know what I'm saying, so she's busy enough, but I definitely would, you know what I'm saying, I would definitely watch if they did some, you know, just a little special like they did, like, you know, with Jocelyn or whatever the hell, um, so yeah, nonetheless, um, shout out to them on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I can't wait till the baby's here. <laughs> and, um, yep, if y'all haven't gotten those singles, by the way, Seven, six, seven Winners and Six Summers is the name of the album. The singles are Wake Me Up featuring Little Kim, Melanin Magic featuring Chris Brown, and Company featuring A Boogie with the hoodie, or A Boogie, I can't remember the name. <laughs> but nonetheless, those are the three singles she put out so far. Y'all go cop those if y'all haven't, you know, give it a listen. And, um, yeah, I will catch y'all next podcast. Congrats, Remy and Pap.